It is a function in a very complex project that consists of two missions uh, going to Mars. Uh, one mission uh, will be launched in 2016 with an orbiter module and uh, with a entry, descent and landing demonstrator that is supposed to land on the Mars surface. And the second mission will be launched two years later uh, with a rover on board. I sit in between, on the one hand side, the spacecraft developer, which is industry, a big consortium, uh, that built uh, spacecraft, and on the other side, the users of the spacecraft, which are the scientists uh, that want to do space research, as well as the uh, operators on ground, our ESOC colleagues that command and control the spacecraft. And the requirements of these users have to be met and have to be incorporated in the uh, software requirements and the software design. If you go with the spacecraft to Mars, there are some constraining factors that have to be taken into account by the whole uh, system design, but also in particular by the, by the software. Commanding the spacecraft from Earth is delayed. The spacecraft has to behave autonomously. If there is a problem on board, the spacecraft cannot rely on an interaction by, uh, by the ground in a very uh, fast way. So it has to uh, know what has to be done. And uh, this, for this, of course, you, you need the, the software. My first job uh, that I took up was uh, in Germany. I started there working as a software architect, developing uh, Columbus, developing also the ATV. I had the wish to uh, join ESA because I wanted to get in touch with the whole lot, not just developing software within the spacecraft developing, but I wanted to be part of the people that uh, built the foundation for, for instance, for industry then to build spacecraft. That's why I joined ESA. You can only do that in ESA. <laughs> When I was a child, I must say that I, <laughs> I have been dragged by my father into the first Apollo moon landing, watching it on the TV. I was a very little girl, but I will never forget that. It then disappeared for a few years, of course, uh, until I had the chance to visit the uh, Houston Space Center. Again, I got completely fascinated uh, about this. Once I had finished my studies, it, it became real. And that was, of course, a, a, a fantastic uh, thing for me.